Hey everyone, this is Jordan, the lead developer and game designer for O and Co Games. We are a humble and small indie game studio, the one behind our upcoming story-driven technical platformer called Tethergeist. We're already two years into the process of making this game, and I decided it was probably a good idea to start sharing our progress. You know, get people to actually hear about the game so that people will actually play it when it comes out. So Tethergeist actually started as a jam game. GMTK runs a yearly game jam, and in 2021, I decided to go all in. I gathered a team of five-ish people, and in 48 hours, we made this masterpiece. The theme was joined together, so we made a platformer in which the character splits and rejoins with her spirit to traverse each level. I always loved games like Celeste and Shovel Knight, so I was naturally drawn to this kind of high-skill platforming genre. Anyway, I think I got less than four hours of sleep in those 48 hours, but it was worth it. We got a small shout out on GMTK's channel, and in the popular vote, we actually placed 10th out of the 5,694 entries in the game jam. I was pretty shocked. Maybe the most important part of the whole thing was that I found my team. We worked so well together on this project, and the extremely high praise we got from players encouraged us to pursue this idea further. In the following months, I refined the jam version of the game into 30 levels, fixed some of the bugs that we had, and I shared the game with my heroes over at XOK Games. With that, we closed the book on our white-haired, neon-dressed character running on purple rocks. The jam version of this game is great and all, but we want a feature-length work of art, one that is as good as Celeste. One that we can hopefully sell on Steam so that we can actually get paid for all of the work we're putting into this. We want a game that honestly would take a few years to make instead of just a few days. So we started building this game again from the ground up. Since the player is going to be with Mei, the main character, the whole game, I knew it was critical to get her movement right. We spent several months getting her physics to just feel good to play. We added all of these micro animations like stretching and squishing and the jump, pivoting while running, turning when changing directions, all of this dust stuff. There's just, uh, we did a ton of stuff. GMTK's video on what makes Celeste so satisfying to play actually heavily influenced the time I spent on May's movements. Her acceleration and deceleration, her jump height, her physics in air versus on ground, the extra jump buffer we give her when you run slightly off of a cliff. All of this stuff is tediously and intentionally designed to make her just satisfying to control. And with all of the playtests that we've run over these past couple of years, we're feeling pretty good about how May controls right now. The second half of May's controls are in her spirit. With this as one of the core mechanics of the game, we also wanted to make sure that it was as satisfying to control as May is. The ghost intentionally has this floaty feel to it with a softer deceleration. The tether has this almost organic feel to it. We added a sort of ghost aura to the thing with this fady look and little spirit pixels floating around. Maybe the most satisfying part of the spirit is the rejoin sequence. I added just a touch of screen shake, some of that jump dust, a fade trail, and a solid ping and shing noise. Another core element of the game is this collectible aspect. You can't split into your spirit without the diamonds in the jam version. You kind of have to stockpile them. As we were writing the story for the full game, which I'll talk about in future videos, we decided this nectar stuff would be a better narrative fit. I built these nectar bubbles to sort of pop and follow May each time she collects them. I think it's a pretty fun animation. So that catches us up at least to the foundational pieces of Tethergeist. I'll be releasing more of these devlogs in the very near future to show you guys our progress. We're putting a lot of heart into this game and it's my belief that Tethergeist will be a fantastic experience for players when it's finally released one day. I hope you guys will stick with us as we pursue this passion project and build our dream game. Thanks for watching.